The excitement of perspective passed into art in North Italy, in Florence and Venice in the 15th century. This is Carpaccio's painting of St. Ursula leaving a vaguely Venetian port, painted in 1495. The obvious effect is to give to visual space a third dimension just as the ear about this time hears another depth and dimension in the new harmonies in European music. Contrast this fresco of Florence, painted a hundred years earlier, about 1350 AD. There is no attempt at perspective because the painter thought of himself as recording things not as they look but as they are a god's eye view a map of eternal truth the perspective painter makes us step away from this absolute and abstract view not so much a place as a moment is fixed for us all this was achieved by exact and mathematical means. The apparatus has been recorded with care by the German artist Albrecht Dürer, who traveled to Italy in 1506 to learn the secret art of perspective. Dürer, of course, has himself fixed a moment in time. And if we recreate his scene, we see the artist choosing the dramatic moment. He could have stopped here. He could have moved and frozen the vision here. But he chose to open his eye like a camera shutter, understandably, at the strong moment here. In early perspective, it was customary to use a sight and a grid to hold the instant of vision. The sighting device comes from astronomy. And the squared paper on which the picture was drawn is now the standby of mathematics. All the natural details in which Dewar delights are expressions of the dynamic of time. The ox and the ass. The blush of youth on the cheek of the virgin. The picture is the adoration of the Magi. The three wise men from the East have found their star, and what it announces is the birth of time. The chalice at the center of the painting was a test piece in teaching perspective. This is Uccello's analysis of the way the chalice looks. We can turn it on the computer as the perspective artist did. His eye worked like this, to follow and explore its shifting shape, the elongation of the circles into ellipses, and to catch the moment of time as a trace in space. 